Okay, hello everybody. This is another video, in a series of videos on trigonometry. This one's about solving triangles with special angles, which we do without a calculator. The special angles are 45 degrees, 60, and 30 degrees. And you need to remember your basic sine, cos, and tan trigonometric ratios. Okay, let's have a think about the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Basically, it's like half a square. If you uh, continue those sides up there, you get a square cut in half. So these two sides, I call them the legs, are the same. So let's just say they're worth one. We can scale them up and down, make them similar triangles, no worries. But So let's start with the easiest thing, one. Simple Pythagoras would tell you that this is root two. Okay, let's think of this 45 degree angle here. So sine is opposite of a hypotenuse. Let's do that again. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 45 is 1 over root 2, which we can rationalize to root 2 and 2 if we need to. Cos 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, 1 over root 2. And tan 45 is opposite over adjacent, 1 over 1 equals 1. So there are the three ratios for 45 degrees that you need to remember. It's not too hard to remember because tan 45 is 1 and the other two are the same. 1 on root 2. Okay, next up. 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Let's look at this 30. So sine of 30... Oh, sorry. This triangle is like half of an equilateral triangle, if you can visualize that. So this leg here is half the size of this hypotenuse. So let's call that 2 and that 1. Pythagoras will tell you that that's root 3. Now let's look at the 30. Okay, so opposite 30 is 1, and the hypotenuse is 2, so sine of 30 is 1 over 2. But look at this. Okay, cos of 60, the 1 is adjacent to the 60, so adjacent over hypotenuse is 1 over 2. Okay, now... Same if we think cos 30, it's op adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. But also sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse. So both of them are root 3 on 2. Now we can think about tan. Tan of 30 is opposite over adjacent. 1 over root 3. And tan of 60 is opposite over adjacent root 3 over 1. Okay, so another three things to remember. There's a few different ways to remember these. I um, will have another video up that shows you some uh, different ways to remember these, um, especially with respect to unit circle. But now let's see if we can use these things. Here are four questions where you need to work out the exact value without using a calculator. Okay, pause the video and see if you can do it. Okay, here we go. This first one, we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So that's opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So sine 45 is 16 over x. Okay, but we remember that sine 45 is 1 on root 2. And then we just rearrange our values to give us x is 16 root, root 2. Okay. Question two. Again, we have opposite over hypotenuse. So that's sine again, but this time it's x over 16. Okay, sine 45, 1 over root 2. And then rearranging is really simple, but then we should probably rationalize the denominator and get 8 root 2. If you can't remember how to rationalize the denominator, I've got another video somewhere. You can look that up. Okay, next up, we've also got opposite over hypotenuse, sine 30, but 30 degrees this time. So opposite sine 30, we just remembered, was a half. So rearranging, really simple, is 8. Okay, last one. This time we've got adjacent and hypotenuse, something different, hooray. So cos 30 is 16 over x. Okay, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. 
uh, cos 30, we remember it's root 3 on 2, and then rearranging, we get 32 over root 3, or if you times by root 3 on root 3, you'll get that. And that's our exact answer. Okay, hope you did well with that, and hope this was a helpful little video. Good luck.